Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here. And today, today, <laughs> QRP Labs has announced a new product called the QDX, QRP Labs Digital Transceiver. Uh, I only have a couple minutes to make a video, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. It is an 80, 40, 30, 20 meter, yes, four band, not your choice of four bands, four band radio. It does, it's not a sideband radio, it is a digital radio. It produces pure uh, digitally generated output, no sideband suppression needed. So therefore perfectly clean and very efficient output through the class D uh, uh, amplifier. Uh, puts out five watts and is full SDR. In fact, Hans has some really amazing features built in where you can connect to it through a serial terminal and configure it and even see, you know, do testing and test the filters and stuff through a serial terminal with a, a text-based interface that uh, it reminds me of the old DOS days, honestly. It's really great. Some really great stuff in there. Um, but, you know, text, text uh, you know, ASCII art, basically, graphs and everything else. Perfectly usable. Uh, even a, even a text-based, uh, like, you know, ASCII art type of um, waterfall. So really cool stuff in there. Um, you know, firmware updates, drag and drop, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to link below to... Uh, my blog post about it, which you can also, uh, you'll be able to see more information there. And here's the thing, fellas, this is not just like I said, this isn't a, a, your choice of, of four bands, 80, 80, 40, 30, 20. This is a four band rig. All four bands are built into the radio and you just switch them through cat control. So it's completely computer controlled with either JS8 call or WSJTX or anything that does digital with cat control. No audio interface needed. Uh, it's got the audio interface built in, uh, really high performance audio interface built in. Um, and so you'll do is one, one line to the computer, one line to your antenna, one line to power. That's it. So it can be uh, built for use on with 12 volts or 9 volts. If you want to power it with 9 volts for whatever reason, you can do that. There's uh, variations you can build. So... We're really looking forward to seeing this. You will be seeing a build series here on Miss Talk Geek. So if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. And uh, I'm hoping to do another video maybe later today uh, about uh, this. We'll go through some of the features and kind of scroll through their website, look at the manual and stuff to get an overview of it. And as soon as the, as soon as the uh, QDX arrives here, we'll be doing videos. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great Saturday morning uh, when this is released. So uh, 73 to y'all and that you were watching Miss Doug Geek. We'll see you next time.